Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make an artichoke cold. Now, that cocktail does sound like a fancy wrestling maneuver, right? But it's not, I promise. It was actually created by Jeremy Ortel at a little place in Brooklyn called The Donna. And he calls it a cousin to his bitter Mai Tai, which is another cocktail that he created. So it's a shaken cocktail served over crushed ice. So grab yourself a glass, drop it in the center, and we're going to start this with a little bit of bourgeois. Now you don't need a lot. What we are going to do is we're going to start with half an ounce, which works out to 15 mils. Your second ingredient will be lime juice. Uh, use fresh lime juice when possible. If you can't, use whatever you can get. So what we need is three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. So what we'll do is we will squeeze that directly into the glass. After you've done all of that, you're gonna start with the first of your liqueurs, or in this case, the only liqueur we're going to use, which is Saint Germain. Uh, it's an elderflower liqueur that is not only sweet, but it has great floral notes, and you can use this to fix about almost any cocktail. A lot of people will call it bartender's ketchup, and we're going to use half an ounce or 15 mils. Your fourth ingredient is rum, and in this case, we're using Smith & Cross. It's 57% ABV or 114 proof. And because it's a Jamaican rum, we're gonna get that funk, that slight banana taste. Um, absolutely works really good, which will give us a nice broad base for the flavors of the cocktails. And we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Our fifth ingredient is what will really give us that kick for this cocktail. And I don't mean a kick of alcohol, I'm talking about flavor. This is Chinar. Now, Chinar is made with artichoke and it gives you a slight vegetal taste that is absolutely fantastic. It's a little bit bitter, but it's not overwhelming, but we'll use the same amount of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Our next step is to shake this with some ice. Um, I'm going to use some crushed ice to do this. You could use regular ice. Now, what this means is this will dilate a little bit faster, but by following his directions, you don't need to put a lot of ice in this. In fact, he says just put a little bit of ice in. So that's why I'll just put about the same amount. What I'll do is then put your lid on there, give it a flip, and now we'll just whip shake it, but not until it's completely gone. We just want to dilute it, so about five seconds. Pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes, put it off to the side. And what we're going to do is use a standard sized rocks glass. We'll put a little bit of ice in this because we have some ice directly in the cup already. And then what we'll do is we will just free pour this on top. Absolutely gorgeous. So what we'll do now is we will just put a little bit more crushed ice on top, just to sort of top it up and give it a nice little uh, top. And then what we'll do is we will garnish this with a uh, desiccated orange rind. Absolutely fantastic. Give it a taste. Mm, really good. You get that artichoke flavor. It's light. It's bitter, you get the banana and the funk from the rum, you get a wisp of almond from the orgeat, and it's just got that little bit of something that the elderflower liqueur brings to it. It's a fantastic cocktail. If you like cocktails like this, take a look after the recipe card right here.